Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. So I'll firstly talk about myself. Here the side is Ritma Chhabra and I have been working as a technical recruiter uh, currently in Gojek and prior to that I have experience with good product based companies uh, like Swiggy is there and White Hat is there. I have worked with these kind of companies mainly. So uh, this session will be all about in terms of how you can really get an off-campus placement in the IT se sector. Basically, it's really important to understand the deepness behind this. When I say this, it basically means that you have to concentrate on how to really talk with companies, how to really step into the interviews, as this is something very important in this competitive market for sure, where everybody is doing the same. And when you are stepping out of a college and you don't really have experience with that, it really becomes a problem in terms of for getting a good opportunity in that way. So we'll just start quickly in terms of how to first of all apply for off-campus placement in the IT sector. Uh, you need to understand two things like, first of all, what are the market needs? Uh, it depends upon what all skills are required in the market right now. Like what's the demand in terms of what roles as when you are studying, you have that option to really upskill yourself in a particular sector. Like for example, if you're a full stack developer and you have knowledge into backend skills and frontend skills too. So you need to see like, what is the requirement in the market? Is it like a backend is much more required or frontend is much more required or full stack developers are much more required. So for that, you need to check over LinkedIn or talk to people and go for a market analysis. And when I say this, it's like check over Indeed, check on these some platforms, like what are the growth sector basically what is the growth in these kind of roles and what is the pay scale and these things you should really check um, then you should talk to people who are already working in these roles you will get to know that okay what is the uh, growth or what they are doing and in terms of practical work that they'll be doing and again same goes with you so you need to understand these things and that's what i call as market needs then the other thing you need to understand is what kind of companies you really want to work with like you have to make a list of the target companies that you really want to target uh, like making the right choice here is very important i would say as if you start with a product based company or a startup or anything so it's like it's going to just build a path for you if you are starting with a service-based company, other, otherwise, when you get an opportunity further, you will get an opportunity in service-based itself as they prefer somebody who has a prior experience in the same industry. So it's really important which kind of companies you are supposed to target and uh, what kind of industries you are going to target. So for that, it's really important to understand what all market, what all companies are there and what they generally do all of this so these are some of the things that you should really keep in mind like what you are going to target as i said product based sector service based sector which you are going to target and then you need to check if you are going for a startup there are some analytics startup it analytics analysis kind of a thing these startups do that stuff so are you going to step into somewhat that kind of a startup you this is something that excites you a lot so always relate with what a company is doing and then really how to choose you need to check uh, that what that company is doing what the people are doing basically all the people who are in those roles what they are doing so if you really talk to a developer in a company which you are targeting ask about what they do in their daily life or uh, you are an aspiring developer what you really expect or what you should really maybe be prepared for in the interview so always just go for networking and talking with people who are at the place that you are really uh, trying to be so then uh, it's really important to be ready with this with your skills so as i said uh, during the interviews it's really important that you have the basic knowledge of the stuff that you're going to do so as you see keep on improvising your skills it's really important and when i say this it's not just about practicing and stuff it's all about being aware with the market too and then whatever you do you always have to see in it sector it's all about uh, aware of being aware of the market trends how market is doing and being aware of if you are just a developer and then you have to see like start practicing coding and stuff as coding is something which will happen no matter what interview you are giving what level you are giving first round which will be there is of coding itself so be ready with your good coding skills as you have some limited time for the coding round like some 90 minutes or 60 minutes round is there and that's where you have to really show on the spot, you will get problem statement and you will have to code for it. So then comes 
keep a regular tap on job openings on linkedin it's really important that you are active on linkedin you need to check what all positions are being opened and what all positions uh you have to apply for or if any hr is or any recruiter is posting about a particular position just talk to them ask about what are the requirements check on the jds uh, when i say the jds this basically means just job descriptions always check on the job description that what are the required skills and that's where you start preparing that okay these are the required skills and this is how i really have to prepare and be aware of what all is required and that's how i say just read all the job descriptions and prepare accordingly then comes ask for referral it's really really important whenever you have to start your journey a journey in any it sector or any sector i would say not just it sector also software engineers of the company or any person who is there in the company they always are open to get like basically refer people so this is very good chance for you to basically talk with the software engineers talk with the people who are there in the company and they'll be able to refer you if there is any entry level position so referrals generally get or uh, easy closure being a technical recruiter i can really tell you that like we will really prefer somebody who is coming as a referral from a person who is already working in the company considering we expect that the person really knows what they are going to do and we expect in terms of the behavioral check and stuff these are all some things that we consider so always go for a referral front and it's not really just referral front always apply on your own too but yeah keep referrals as a part of a thing that you will be doing then message the recruiters over linkedin as i said this is the most important phase or maybe you will get more closure or maybe more options for job due to this in case you apply for a job you will be listed in some 200 applications and that's where you are going to uh, maybe get a chance or maybe you you're not going to get a chance in case they always uh, do in this way that then in case they select a person and then other 200 applicants they won't even see so it's something that you have to be sure about if you are pinging a recruiter over linkedin it's something that your profile will be fast tracked Oh, and you will have that more chances basically to really step into the loop give interviews and then get an offer so this is really important at any place no matter what sector just start pinging the recruiters and talk about what all skills you have and it's not just pinging them that uh, you are looking out it's just that mention them okay these are the skills that i have and this is what i have done previously uh, in any project that you have done and just pass it on to them that this is what i'm looking at then some sources you can really keep a tap on first of all linkedin as i just now said same way just keep a tap on linkedin any recruiter is posting something about the job or if anybody else also uh, in terms of the applications job applications or the job section of the thing keep a tap on that and then the career page of the company whichever company you are targeting it's really important to keep a tap like whenever a position opens up as when entry level position opens up it's like um, it really gets closed easily and quickly and why i say this thing as there is there are a lot of people behind who are applying for the same role it's really important to be that first comer and to apply at the first place then the online job job portals that are there uh, definitely upload your cv over nokri insta hire these are the two platforms indeed is there you can just put your cv on these three platforms and then just upload your profile properly every detail what you do what are your skills and in terms of education part of the front too just mention it clearly and you will soon get calls from recruiters once they see your profile over there then the job referrals as i discussed about it like talk talk with the people who are there in the company and they'll be able to really refer you in their own company itself then prepare well it's really important like once you get a chance Uh, it's really important to have to check uh, for the common interview questions that will be there uh, when you check over google uh, just mention about the role that you are going to uh, appear for and then just ask about just uh, search about the general questions that you can expect in an interview that's something which is which is going to help you to be ready that okay this is what i'm going to answer in the interview so it's really important to prepare well before the interview and then resume writing services is like uh, some of the times it's important you should really use some templates that are there over google free downloadable sam samples are there for resume and maybe talk to recruiters and ask for a resume maybe guidance and talk to them that okay should i change something in the resume or do you think it look really looks good or how it is so get some feedback on your resume if it looks good or not or otherwise use some templates that are there on google 
can practice a lot it's really important as i told once you get a chance to interview it's just that you have to practice a lot uh, for example coding that i just mentioned in the beginning it's really important that you just look for some coding problems that are the common pro uh, coding problems that are there over internet just go ahead and solve it out and then always be active it's really important that you have to keep on checking for there are some hackathons or contest that are done by various companies so you have to keep a tap on that and then the content basically that means uh, some of the developers who have cleared interview rounds they post about their interview experience over linkedin so how was their interview in uh, adobe how was their interview in microsoft so they talk about what all rounds happened for them so it's really important you read those things read those blogs it's going to help you in terms of well, getting an easier closure or just able to clear the rounds quickly so then as i said apply for internships this is like giving you more chances to land a full time job also when you appear as an intern in a company you will get more chances to be converted to a full time role instead of a new person being hired for the same that's there and then uh, just do some projects write about the projects and be well prepared to talk about it during the interviews as when you are stepping in for an entry level role it's important you have to mention what kind of internships or what kind of projects you have been part of as that's going to give you a better chance uh, instead of other candidates and then the most important do ample research when i just say this like check on linkedin that developers as i said they post about their interview experience at various companies always read and get their guidance how to really craft the interviews and then always learn about the company you would be interviewing for as whenever you step into an interview as i said it's really important or uh, that they are going to ask you some questions okay what do you know about the company or why you really want to work with us so these kind of questions you have to be prepared about that how you're going to answer it and just do some re research over google also like how you should really answer these question as i said attitude is something that is going to be checked during every interview round uh, your attitude to learn the behavioral part of the thing the behavioral aspect that or uh, how much good you are when a situation goes wrong in a company or something goes wrong how you react to that and then interest and knowledge about the company that i cl clearly mentioned right now it's really important that how much interest do you have uh, in working with the company as again this is a main thing when you apply for a entry level role they always check that why you are uh, interested and what do you know already or just talk about here you have to answer about the initiatives that you have read about that yeah some of the initiatives that i have come across that well i am just interested to be part of that and then how, like why you are interested in this role some of the questions would be like that like why you chose this stream as you are starting off so there is there a specific reason that you have chose this stream or how you are this thinking about this line these are some of the questions that you really have to answer and then always show that you really want to want an opportunity to learn and upskill as this is really important that you have to show that you have a caliber in terms of learning in case you don't answer some questions during the interview it's totally fine you are not going to get judged on that basis they'll check in case you are just getting somewhere wrong in the path are you open to learn are you open to feedback or not this is something that is going to be shared like check during the interviews so this is pretty much all about what you have to keep in mind and what you have to expect during the interview rounds it's just that uh, get some experience be prepared what all is going to be uh, asked and i think it's pretty much done for you and you will definitely land a very very good job due to this off offer and due to this off campus placement itself you will be able to land a very good and nice job all the best thank you so much